We're blessed to have a great facility here in Midwest City. It's about three acres, just a little bit more. It's home to our classroom, our training tower, and a storage building. We share this facility with the police department, which was a great uh, tool in incorporating other public safety entities within the city. Our training center is designed to have a classroom facility. It sits about 100. We have a breakout conference room and classroom, so that way we can have smaller events or even breakout sessions from the main classroom. Because this is a live training center where we have multiple drill activities and live fire training center, we also incorporated showers into our uh, locker room slash bathroom areas. Outside of the interior with the break room and the kind of lounge area where we can study, we also have an exterior classroom, which is really, really important. Live fire training, even police SWAT activities are really dirty events. We wanna be able to go from the drill ground to a place where we can debrief, but not to a place where we're bringing those toxins or dirt into the classroom. So we have an exterior open classroom area with also bathrooms open to the exterior. So that way firefighters can come debrief, basically have an exterior classroom and access to restroom facilities without having to go back into the clean sections of the classroom. And then we have the drill tower. The drill tower is a critical piece to live fire training, to skill building, to all that development that goes into the fire department and also the police department. It's really important that we set it up properly. When we're talking about setting up a training tower, there's different parameters. There's ISO 1 parameters that will lay out the size of the building, the number of rooms that you might need, the square footage. There's also certification and inputs that we need to consider. To certify for Firefighter 1, we have to have a ground level access for live burns. To certify for Firefighter 2, we need to be able to do below grade. So we'll have to have a second floor access down to a first floor fire attack. Consider these things in your layout. Then also consider your own district. We have a side here on our tower that is designed to represent our two-story multifamily dwellings, a very common setup in our district. We want to be able to replicate that not only our single family dwellings, but also our multifamily dwellings for access and fire attack. As you move up in the facility, you can see our roof prop is built on the roof of the tower. We have an access point where you can walk onto it. We have an access point where you would be able to have to use extension ladders to access it. And then we have an access point where you can use aerial ladders. So that way we can progressively build our roof access, roof report, and our ventilation programs. As you work around the building, you'll see all the windows are labeled. It's very important that we have targets so that we can provide very clear instruction on where we want the activities to go, where we want those skills to be developed. But we have lots of different targets for our laddering. Ground ladder work is very important to firefighters, especially in truck companies. Take that extra time to really get involved in the custom design of your training facility so that way it works for your people best.